Okay, as promised, it's time to talk about concealers. I have about 40 different concealers on my desk in front of me. Uh, some brand new, some I haven't even tried yet. And I just wanted to do a review. We won't be able to get through all these, I reckon. But I just wanted to try them on, have a little chat with you guys about what I think from my initial reaction to them, or yeah, from trying them first off. Um, I have 43 year old, slightly dehydrated skin, even though I drink plenty of water and I use plenty of moisturizer. Uh, my skin is a little bit dry. Um, so I'm going to say which ones I think would be are great for me, but also which ones I think would be better for someone who might have a slightly oilier skin or a different skin to me or what might, might want more coverage. Let's start with the new House Labs, which is by Lady Gaga. I ordered this online from Sephora. Came really quickly. This is 13 Light Neutral didn't have kind of a matching thing on it but um i just went for what i thought looked about right for me um let's try this i don't know the kind of consistency of it but i imagine it's reasonably good coverage um which would mean that i probably wouldn't put it under my eyes but let's try it there and let's try it here and just have a little idea now i saw that lady gaga used this all over her skin I just want to see how it works into the skin and how it disappears, basically. Now for me, this is quite a lot of coverage, so I wouldn't take it up here because you can see my fine lines up here and my fine lines here. So I would keep it in this area here. But if you're someone that wants more coverage, this has a nice, nice coverage. Actually goes into the skin really nicely. Can you see? It's not... Um, you know, it's it's melting in pretty well, which I like. I have to say, makeup sits well on my skin. So, if you are someone that has, you know, like, slightly flaky skin a little bit, or that needs an exfoliate, you might find that this will move a bit. But makeup seems to sit pretty well on my skin. That's nice, isn't it? Let's wear it for a minute. I actually am pleasantly surprised in that. It's matte, so it hasn't got too much of a shine to it, which is what matte means. I want to try it on my little blemish, which actually is quite flat at the moment. It's just a red dot now. It's not really got a different texture to it. So let's see how that sits over there. It should just disappear it. Disappear. God, my language is bad today. It should just... Make it invisible. Which it pretty much does, doesn't it? I think that's pretty nice. Matte, so it still looks like skin, but I've put it in the areas that I want to be matte, not all over. I wouldn't want my whole skin to be matte like this. Um, matte, but still with a glow underneath, if that makes sense. It's not flat matte. Okay, let's try a different one on the other side. Another new one. Let's go for... Now I haven't used, this is new to me, this is the Double Wear Concealer. I feel like this would fit into the same category as the House Lab one. So that's why I want to use it next to it. It's a bit lighter colour. This one is in uh, 2C Light Cool. Let's put it in the same places, shall we? Nice and creamy. It's quite fragrant. That's why I was stopping. Mm, it's got quite this strong scent to it. Let's see how that sits. This is a little bit of a lighter colour, isn't it? But it goes a long way. See how far this one went? Maybe I put a bit more on, but it has gone a lot further. Might not be as good colour for me as the other one. Both of them have worked into my skin quite nicely. I actually prefer this one, but I think it might be because the colour is better on me. But both actually really nice on my mature, slightly drying skin. And I think would be nice on a slightly oilier skin. This one definitely would. This is another new one that I just got the other day. I wanted to get the new Dior Show. Well, it's not new, the Dior Show concealer, but you can't get it many places. This is the new Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. Where should we put it? Let's pop it here. 
This is in 4.75, which looks very, very light. I went by what my Power Fabric one was, which is a 4.5, which you would think is lighter, but maybe it's not as thick, so... You can see my little lines. Love you, darling. But they all look the same, don't they? I don't feel like I'm teaching anyone anything in this video. Everything looks the same on me. I'm going to pop the powder fabric just here so you can see the difference. It's more of a yellow undertone, isn't it? But I instantly think that goes on nicer. But it might be again because the colour matches better. What do you think? I'm not sure if it's just because the colour's off, but I don't like that one as much as I like the Power Fabric one. This is the Illuminous Silk and this is the Power Fabric. I prefer this one. So the concealers that I'm showing you are pretty much, I would say, all round concealers. They're concealers that work on the cheeks, around the nose, under the eyes. They don't have a specific reason that they are, if you know what I mean. Um, They'll work on blemishes because they're not too light reflecting. This one is the new um, All Hours YSL. Let's pop that there. I really do like the um, doe foot. However, it doesn't pick up much product. This one is in the colour LC5. Oh, that goes into the skin really nicely. This one's got a little bit more light reflecting. You can see how it's glowing, which is probably why I instantly like it. And that's blended in beautifully. I like that a lot. Isn't it funny that you would think, oh, there's no difference between them until you put them on and you're like, oh, that one looks really nice because that's made this look a bit shabby. That one looks so good on my skin. I like that one a lot. YSL, All Hours, another new one that I bought the other day, this is Lancome All Over and it is in the colour um, Buff N. It's got the same foot as the YSL one. It looks the same as the YSL one, is it? Ooh, it goes on nice and creamy. This one is all over, let's see. I am going to take all of this off for the next lot. I'm just trying to use every inch of my face to see what these look like. I've still got chin and forehead to go for these first ones. And then we've got brightening ones, or should that be another video? I don't like that one. You know what, this is nice and my nose is a harder place to cover. Because it's got more pores and it's just not as even as the cheek. Let's do another couple that are a similar texture to these ones. This one is Huda Beauty and it is Faux Filter. This is one of my favourites. I absolutely love this concealer. This is in Vanilla Swirl um, to the point that when I was in America with my girlfriends, I was like, girlfriends and boyfriends actually, it wasn't all girls. I was like, um, although he's a girlfriend as well. I was like, um, well, we went to Sephora and they were like, I need a new concealer. And I said, this one is amazing and they both bought it and they keep messaging me going oh my god it's amazing so I'm pleased that they're happy with it it's got a really nice thickness to it um, it sets nice and matte whereas this one's got a lovely shine hasn't it but this one sets a little bit matter it's really nice for movement so I like it under the eyes but still staying in place and I really do like this concealer it's one of my most reached for, if not the. There you have it. And it lasts well. Probably not too dissimilar to the um, House Labs one, I would say. I've still got this bit of skin, although I put that Armani one on here, I don't feel like it's given me much coverage, do you? Um, I've still got this part of skin to cover and I've still got my forehead so we can still go for a couple more another favorite of mine nars radiant creamy concealer um this is just such a beautiful concealer very similar to the hourglass uh, to the 
uh, Huda Beauty one. Let's pop it here so you can see it. Might be a little bit light for that area. I have got a darker one I could put there. It just covers beautifully. Still has a slight radiance, but is again matte. Um, I would normally use a concealer like this and then I might go over the top of it with something that's a bit more light reflecting if there's an area I really want to push forward. But I like these ones that kind of, that are cream that kind of adhere to the skin and stay put for a little bit longer and leave the skin looking really, really nice and even. So that's that one. I didn't really show it in the best place on the top of my forehead because I wouldn't know, I don't even normally put makeup up there. Let's actually put it here so you can see a bit better because I don't feel like, and I've gone for a slightly darker colour because I don't feel like I did it justice and this is one of my favourites. Just nice, just evens out the skin, looks glowy but still matte if there is such a thing. Like when people used to come in to, to see me when I worked on counter and they'd be like, I want a matte red glossy lipstick and I'd be like, mmm. Matte, red, glossy, but I don't really want it red. Hmm. Those sorts of things. A lot of, a lot of the brands do highlighter ones as well, so we can get to that in another video maybe. You know, we've got the Rare Beauty um, Glow one. I've actually got the Rare Beauty Concealer here as well. And then we've got stick concealers that we can get to. But I think if I put it all in this video, it's just going to be too much, isn't it? Um, let's do... Yeah, we can do like these sorts of cream concealers as well. A stick they'll probably be combined in one let's do this concealer this is um, by Pat McGrath very lovely concealer where shall I put her I'm gonna put her on my forehead but again it's not gonna do any justice there very nice concealer very nice foundation as well she does that goes with this so these are all I would say medium coverage concealers. Which part of my skin is your favourite? I've still got quite a lot of this sort of coverage concealer. I've still got the Rare Beauty Rose Ink. I've still got the Tarte. Um, I've still got Vive. still got Clinique. I can't fit it all on my face. I've still got Hourglass. I feel like this Hourglass one is a little bit too heavy for me. Doesn't mean it won't work for other people. I'm going to put it here. I know I've already got something on. But I do find that this um, gives quite a good coverage. Um, it might be that you really, really want a good coverage in this area or on your skin, but I find it's maybe a tiny bit much for me. But then it depends on the occasion, doesn't it? Again, I try to keep my concealer away from this area unless it's a light reflecting one. Definitely got a better co coverage than most, this one. So if you want something that's got a little bit more coverage, this is the Hourglass um, in the colour Oat and it's Vanish. It'd be good for a blemish, but you'd have to get it to the right colour. Right, I didn't have any space left in my skin, so I've taken it all off to do the last few. Um, I also got this Lancome concealer. I'm very impressed by the first one. Um, this one is a serum and it is more light reflecting. It's a, a natural skin glow. So I was going to save this one for the next lot of concealers, but I just want to see it on because I haven't used it and I want to make sure that it fits more into the glowy section than the um, this one, which is a bit more flatter, a bit fuller coverage. So I just want to see what this one's like. Oh, it's very nice as well. But I would say that'd probably be nice, really nice under the eye, that one. That's really nice. The Lancome ones are really lovely. Um, okay. Vive. This one is in medium two. I also have a medium one. Let's try medium two. And we'll try it around the eye area. This is a lot thicker. You can see as it goes on, it's a lot thicker, um, which I don't necessarily love, but let's see as it's blended. Goes a long way. 
it's got a good coverage but it does have little strokes whilst I'm blending it but again it goes a long way so if you're someone that wants a good coverage this is a better coverage so if you want that kind of full-on makeup this might be your favorite it's very flat hasn't got any shine in there at all um, which is probably why she brought out the glow balm that goes underneath it because it is quite a flat concealer which would make it amazing for blemishes we then got Tarte. This is the Shape Tape, which I think will be similar to the Vive one. Um, I don't think I have the right colour. I feel like this one's going to be too light and the other ones that I've got, both the same product, will be too dark. So I'm going to pop this on and I'm going to pop a tiny bit of this over the top. So together, they will make the right colour, hopefully. I imagine this will be similar. Yeah, they're very similar. I like them, they're just a little bit too much coverage for me um, for a day to day, but maybe of an evening and I want a bit more coverage or I have a stubborn blemish, I think these would be reasonably good. So it depends on the payoff you want. Now all of these concealers would last well on my skin. Uh, some of the more creamy ones might break a little bit on an oily skin. None of them feel like they wouldn't sit well on an oily skin, none of them feel like they would show too many pores or be they're not like reflecting enough to cause too much a problem let's do a little bit of Clinique even better all over concealer which has a little blender on the end if you're on the move we will pop that around the nose this one is in the color WN 30 biscuit again it's got a nice coverage to it too much coverage for me all of these last ones have been a bit too much for me but, again, very, very nice. Bear in mind I've got no other makeup on, so they're looking like they're more coverage purely because I don't have anything else underneath them. Rose Ink LX040. Really big foot. They're all very similar, aren't they? How do you choose? Quite thick, goes a long way. Maybe not the best colour for me, it looks very, almost look green in it a bit. Look how far that's going, that's literally covering my whole face. That has got some really high pigment to it. Okay, that's a lot. That would do my whole pinhead. I'm still blending it out. Oh, that's good quality, isn't it, for the amount of you get. I've done my whole side of my face with that. However, it's just too heavy for me. It doesn't mean it won't be brilliant on someone else, but I don't feel like I've got any texture to my skin or you can't even feel my skin or see my skin underneath it to the point that I want to get another brush and just blend it in a bit more because it's just too clay-like for me. Yeah, that's not my favourite. But it's not moving at all. Probably looks amazing in the camera. It's stuck, put. So the rose ink isn't my favourite, sorry. Let's try Rare Beauty on the other cheek. This is um, 200C. Um, really like the handle that's easy to open, especially for people that struggle with this sort of thing. Then I think it's really inclusive. Again, this one goes a long way, but it is blending easier. Like it's not dragging the skin. This one really dragged the skin. But again, this goes a long way. Maybe they just um, give more product when you use the doe foot. Is that what it's called, a doe foot? I think so. That's nice though. It's more blurring than this one. Do you know what I mean? It's just a little bit more soft focus. Blends nicely. I'm a real fan of Rare Beauty products though. But still, my favourite was the first YSL one. I think we have a couple more and then we'll I'll save the others for the next video. I did use this the other day in a video and it's so beautiful. This is the Estee Lauder Futurist Concealer. I've already got stuff under my eye so it's hard to tell. Let's, um, I used it in a live on Instagram and I was like, oh my God, it just was so beautiful on the skin. I'm gonna get a clean brush. It just um, disappeared into the skin so nicely but kind of gave a really light matte 
fabric kind of feel over the top. Yeah, that's a lovely concealer. Look, it's just disappeared. It's almost um, blurred out my fine lines as well. I like that one a lot. So, so far my favourite are the YSL and the um, Estee Lauder Futurist. Next up, Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Concealer. I'm a fan of Shiseido, so let's see what that has to offer us. I've used this before and I do like it. It's nice and lightweight. I like the shape of the doe foot because you can get really into intricate areas. I think it's a nice, much lighter than some of the others concealer. So it just feels like you're not wearing anything, which is what I prefer. I also think this one's great for under the eyes because it's that little bit lighter. Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. The packaging to this one's changed about a few months ago. Let's pop that on the nose. I like this concealer. I like them. Although I'm really upset that the Bare Minerals um, Stick Concealer that I swear by and absolutely love, they've discontinued. And they've brought out one that I don't really like and it's replaced. This goes a long way. Look at that. But it did lay down a good amount of product of my nose stud but it's very creamy blends really nicely into the skin goes a really long way but it isn't leaving me with stripes which I quite like and lastly Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion I think this is a lot more coverage we'll see this one is in 2N nice a little bit more coverage, but still very, very lovely. I'm looking a little bit orange or a little bit yellow. But. And there you have a little look at all those concealers. Which was your favourite? Watching it back, I'll probably have a completely different favourite because as I watch the videos back, I'm like, oh, that one looked nice. But for now, my two favourites, I still love my um, Glowish Huda Beauty one. This is a different one for the next video. I still love my Huda Beauty Faux Filter is what it's called, concealer. I still love the NARS um, Creamy Radiant, but new to me, which I'm absolutely loving, is the new Estee Lauder Futurist Soft Touch and the All Hours YSL both were my favourites, I have to say. I wonder whether you think the same or what your opinion is. I will do, next we'll do pot concealers um, and brightening concealers and yeah touch on any others but hopefully you found this interesting I don't feel like I've shown you that much different but um, at least you can see what there is on the market and what's new and what's available to you and it might at least help you make a choice a little bit more um, thank you for watching I will do the next one coming up unless you hate this and then I won't do the next one um, thank you all for watching I will see you soon